Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another deck guide. Today we will be talking about Vinsmoke Reiju, yet another leader from OPO6. Basically if you are playing Reiju, your deck is pretty much going to look the same as most other Reiju decks because as for now the best cards you can use are the uh, German 66 cards you already have from OPO6 and there will be just some little differences if you are trying to spice things up yourself and we will just get started with the list i have included um, kaya as a four off you will see her in most of the rager decks because she is uh, first a great 2k counter and second she can draw you two cards and you can trash two cards you don't need. This is basically what the Reju only does. She draws and she trashes because Reju's basic game plan is to trash or have the um, big versions of the uh, uh, German brothers in hand and play the little ones and they basically transform like Power Rangers. <laughs> This is more or less the basic Reju style, so Kaya really helps you cycle your deck and to get the cards you really need really fast. So this is why I decided to take her as a 4 off. For the little tech, most likely the only tech you will see in Reju is Pudding. Um, this card is just really great um, if you play against, let's say, Sakazuki. Uh, green Uta or any red deck that draws well you are basically destroying them if they have something set up themselves um, or look at Nami if you are like I don't know three or four turns into the game Nami has more or less made up a good game plan where she wants to be but if you play pudding you can just destroy the hand and basically kill the whole Nami deck or even Sakazuki but the problem with Sakazuki is the deck is just that strong that even if you destroy a mediocre hand the <laughs> the next best hand he can draw probably will be even better so uh, chances are Pudding is going to help you against Sakazuki but we just can't ignore the fact that Sakazuki has an answer to everything, so if that doesn't work out, don't worry, you did nothing wrong, it was always Bandai's fault. <laughs> so let's talk about the last non-Germa card here, um, non-character Germa card, let's say that, is Miss Doublefinger. I have decided to include her as a free off. Um, you can just use her as a 2k counter it's okay but you could also ramp with her if you need to make um, pressure in some situations you really want to do that especially against black because you want to ramp fast for your judge because judge is really the only safe um, safe way to play against black but if it's not working out that great, you will be having a bad time. Um, there is also room to exclude double finger and get something like queen, like the blocker queen. This is just personal preference, but I think Miss Double Finger works great in this deck, so I have decided to go against queen. But I will talk. Uh, about the queen later in this video there are some spots where you could actually um, take a few things out um, but yeah let's go further let's talk about the first wind smoke character here which is EGG he is easily uh, one of the best cards in this game not actually this card but this card um, in this game I mean for Rejo obviously um, if you are able to go second and summon this guy at four on, go minus one and play the bigger version of him, you have a seven, seven body, seven K rush on dawn four, which is really hard to deal with. He actually, um, 
does give one of your opponent minus 2000 so I don't know the more I played Reju the more I saw this guy and thought damn he is really strong he is he maybe is even more important than uh, your big Reju but this is debatable I really like him he is really strong most of the time if you get to play like two or three versions of him it's it's hard it's really really hard for your opponent to deal against it because he is a s simple flat straight up 7k body he is that easily summoned and you have a lot of hand so you can easily defend him and if your opponent decides to go for life well you either take it you either block it whatever it is he stays untouched so judge here is your win condition against black because he lets you summon all four of your German characters, the baby versions and afterwards you can transform them to the bigger versions and have a lot of pressure for the next turn where you could most likely uh, attempt to go for lethal because Sakazuki or any other black deck should not be able to KO all five of your characters at once so this is something to um, look out for judge can be a winning condition if you cycle um, let's say um, good enough for him to have most targets um, otherwise you will be having a hard time against black judge is not played in every game in every situation it really depends if you need the pressure, if you can, um, let's say, pay that much Don Minus. If it's worth to go for lethal next turn, really go for Judge, try and go for game and close it out. Afterwards we have Windsmoke Soda. Most of the time she will be your 2k counter, but you can use her on play effect if you somehow don't manage to draw the cards you need let's say you need for your rush egg the smaller versions and you simply cannot find him play zora get him from the trash do your thing um, or get any other smaller wind smoke uh, gamma card and start your combos it's pretty simple then we have another brother Windsmoke Niji. Um, basically, there is nothing much to say about this. You play him as a free of, and the bigger version is really important in this format because you can either KO at two cost or less, which most of the time will be something like a Rosinante or maybe Cerberus if the enemy plays black. Moria most of the time will use Cerberus, Perona not that much and um, two cost or less um, most likely some searchers um, let's say baby five brand new whatever it is you can get rid of them or uh, the other effect which is even more important you can return a cost four or less to the owner's hand so this is something like uh, the four cost Borsalino blocker. This is something like Kikunojo um, or even like Kakuzan, whatever it may be. It's really great. You can simply bounce them back to their hand. They have invested four on to have this card. You get rid of it. Um, it's good. It's really good because you can just work your way around it and your enemy has to either play the card again losing some dawn losing some tempo um, this uh, works in your favor and for the last uh, brother in the wind smoke family we play uh, two copies of yonji and two copies of the blocker version of him um, this is uh, where i said you could maybe leave this card completely out of this deck and play queen as a four off so uh, no yonji two cost and no yonji four cost i have seen some decks do that because he really is a blocker not that much he is a 1k counter queen is 
is the same if you have queen if you want to use him um he works great in this deck queen lets you draw two and trash one he is basically a much better version of yonji the only draw uh, the only drawback you could have by um not playing both yonji versions is that you have less targets with judge because you cannot summon um, four of the same um, copies let's say you cannot summon four reju you cannot summon four ichijis because the effect says um, you may trash two cards from your hand play four drama 66 type characters cards with four thousand power or less from your trash with different names so you cannot simply say um, I want to see four Ajos, I want to see four Ichijis or two Ichijis and two, uh, two Nijis, something like that. It doesn't work. So if you don't use Yonji, you would only have something like Ichiji, Reju, Niji and that's it. It's not that big of a deal, but if some people prefer to um, transform the bot full of power rangers then you would want to see yonji at least as a two of but i can see why people say nah i don't really need him i also don't rely on judge so let's just put in a queen here and um, get even more draw power so let's get to uh, the smaller version of reju you basically need her as a 4 of because you need this card also as a 4 of. She is a great card. If you um, play her from this card's effect, you are almost pretty much ever. <laughs> there is almost no situations where you are not equal or less done than your opponent. So most of the time you will be drawing free cards when playing her because you draw two cards from this card and you draw one card from your leader because you don't minus one so most of the times you play reju draw three cards and continue your game um it really is that great she's a 1k counter you can simply counter out of most things she's in your trash uh, you can summon this card and summon her from the trash um this is pretty much working for all of the uh, Windsmoke um, siblings. You can discard Reju, you can discard Yonji, you can discard Niji because they all have counter. The only uh, counter less card is Ichiji. He would be really broken if he had a 1k counter. So you need to actively trash him through your own effects, but that really is not a problem. So you can easily just, if you have like three Reju's in hand, you can safely trash all of them to counter out you will see them either way and for the last few cards we have your uh, event searcher germa card you really want to use four of those you have your stage germa card where you can um, discard one card and then look at the top three cards this is the great the easiest way to cycle through your whole deck you can discard your big ichiji search for something maybe your small EGG and get things going. And for the last bit of um, um, differences where some Regius deck um, have other cards is a Blast Breath. Um, I have decided to play Blast Breath because I like this card in purple. It works great. 4000 power counter for one done, actually for one and then minus one. It's really strong. I like it more than Gatling because I already um, discard a lot of cards and Gatling gets me only 3000 so this is a personal preference if you like Gatling more if you want to cycle out even more just get Gatling as a two of and uh, it will pretty much work the same so basically what is the plan with Reju? Most of the times you really want to see either Ichiji, the small version or the big version in hand uh, together with at best your stage card or another searcher because if you can manage to go let's say for example second and uh, at dawn 4 you can 
play the little Ichiji, activate his card effect, summon the big one, give something minus 2000 and attack with 7000. I don't know which deck can summon at dawn for something that strong. It really is that strong. And he will most likely always gain rush because uh, he only requires to have equal or less. So if you're second, you will have one more dawn. But since you have uh, used his effect to go dawn minus one, you will be equal. So you can rush with your big EGG. This is, it is really strong. Most of the times I want to see this to make this a simple combo. And if I have my stage going, I can make, I can just simply do the steps over and over again. I can cycle out my big cards, all of them, and I can just search for the little ones. And um, most of the times when I have something going like two EGGs, or let's say these two EGGs, and they are um, doing their job on the field, I'm trying to um, set up uh, a raid room to gain a little bit more of a uh, hand. Rage also is your um, basic 5k swinger, so uh, she can also do that. And most of the times you will have so much uh, cards in your hand that you can easily counter your um, 7k bodies and your opponent most likely will have to invest so much resources to attack into your um, Ichijis that they simply cannot deal with it. If you have early pressure with Ichiji, it's really hard. And if you manage to get out like a second one or a third one, it really is a nightmare for your enemy. It is really hard to deal against it. Even if you manage to get something um, like a Yonji blocker or a Queen blocker, and um, even if they get Let's say even if they get two of your three GGs or maybe you have uh, two of them and they somehow manage to kill both. It really doesn't matter because you can always get uh, your baby version back somehow. You either draw the uh, the fourth one or you um, get uh, your um, pseudo fifth one from Sora back to your hand and simply repeat those steps. It, um, it really is that good. And this is why I have said earlier that EGG is probably more important than Rejo because Rejo is great. Uh, Rejo lets you draw uh, in total three cards. This is it's truly great drawing three cards in one turn. In in one turn is is strong, but having that much power on Dawn Four is maybe even stronger. And combining with uh, removing some threats or removing blockers, drawing cards, um, being a little bit defensive and also maybe destroying your whole opponent's uh, hand cards. I don't know, this deck really is fun, this deck can be really oppressive and I really know why Reju um, was making some terror over there in Asia. So, Reiju is not to be underestimated. And basically, as I said, if you really want to use something like a queen, um, the only two options to include queen was to exclude double finger or exclude the um, Yonji cards. I really would not change anything else in this deck. As I said, you could most likely change Blast Breath with um, Gatling. Uh, if you prefer it that way, but the only two cards um, or let's say three cards that are changeable are Miss Doublefinger and the two Yonji cards. So if you want to go with that, um, just do it. It will also work um, as great, let's say. And basically this is it for the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see some other um, decks for me to talk about just let me know and i will see what i can do and yeah if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and i hope to see you guys for the next video as well
Peace.